In a world dominated by fierce warriors and legendary heroes, let your imagination conjure the visage of a savage Norse warrior, a formidable raider, an unyielding foe who laughed brazenly in the face of death. It is the indomitable Ragnar Lothbrok who fits this description, the ultimate nightmare of England and France, the patriarch of the formidable heathen army, and a romantic entanglement with at least three extraordinary women. Ragnar's life unfolds like a mesmerizing epic, filled with exploits that seem plucked from the script of a Hollywood blockbuster. Asserting his lineage as a descendant of the Viking god Odin, Ragnar embarks on ventures that include battles against giant serpents, leading armies into epic clashes, conquering vast expanses of Scandinavia, and instilling terror into the unsuspecting hearts of the British Isles. His exact birth date remains shrouded in the mists of time, but it is believed to have occurred around the commencement of the 9th century. The saga of Ragnar commences with a journey to Norway, a quest to avenge the death of his grandfather in a war against the self-proclaimed King Fro, a ritual commonplace in the Viking era, characterized by an age of warfare, betrayal, and unrelenting quests for revenge. The legend takes an intriguing turn as King Fro, disliked by women, draws the attention of Lagertha, a shield maiden whose ferocity and courage in battle captivate Ragnar. Following a victorious battle, Ragnar declares the triumph to be attributed to the might of Lagertha, sparking admiration and desire among his men. Yet, Lagertha, wary of unwanted suitors, employs a bear and a hound as guardians outside her camp. Ragnar, however, proves his mettle by slaying the bear with a spear and choking the hound, displaying the requisite bravery to win Lagertha's heart. Their union becomes legendary as they raid and pillage coastal towns together, etching their names into the annals of Viking lore. As a sea king, Ragnar transcends the typical pirate narrative. His prowess leads him to demand fertile farming lands from foreign kings in exchange for a promise to refrain from future raids. This audacious move establishes Ragnar as the first Viking ruler to construct settlements on foreign shores, marking a paradigm shift in Viking expansionism. Despite his marriage to Lagertha, Ragnar's thirst for adventure and conquest knows no bounds. He divorces Lagertha to marry Thora, the daughter of Earl Harrower of Gotland. The peculiar challenge associated with this union involves a giant serpent kept by Thora. Ragnar, undeterred, treats his breeches with tar and sand for protection against the serpent's poison. In a display of Viking audacity, he slays the serpent and earns the epithet Lothbrok, meaning shaggy breeches. The union with Thora is marked by more raids on foreign shores, accumulating wealth and fame for Ragnar. Ragnar, showcasing his strategic prowess, negotiates land grants from foreign kings in exchange for peace, showcasing a blend of might and diplomatic finesse. However, Ragnar's journey takes a turn with Thora's death, plunging him into a deep depression. Seeking solace in war and raids, Ragnar adopts a warmongering stance. In an attempt to display Viking prowess, he issues a decree for every Viking father to dedicate his laziest and weakest son to Ragnar's service, showcasing a penchant for theatrics and Viking bravado. Ragnar's gaze once again fixates on England, a land he desires to conquer for the gods. The killing of King Haim of Northumbria sparks a feud with King Ayla, who seeks revenge for his father's death. Ragnar's men, enchanted by the beauty of Aslog, a woman bathing beside a waterfall, lead to her becoming Ragnar's wife. The union results in the birth of significant sons, including Bjorn Ironside and Ivar the Boneless. Paris becomes Ragnar's next target, as he breaks covenants with Charles the Bald of France. In the Siege of Paris in 845, marked by brutality and sacrifices, the Vikings demand a substantial ransom from the Franks. A plague breaks out in Ragnar's camp during the siege, prompting prayers to both Old Norse gods and Christian deities for relief. The sagas intertween a Norse paganism with emerging Christian influences, showcasing the evolving nature of Viking beliefs. As Ragnar ages, his sons Bjorn and Ivar rise as renowned warriors, eclipsing their father's legacy. Ragnar, wishing to conquer England with merely two ships, faces a fierce storm, 
leading to his defeat by King Ayala's superior forces. The impending death does not deter Ragnar's bravery. He laughs in the face of execution, warning King Ayla of the impending vengeance his sons would exact. Thrown into a pit of snakes, Ragnar meets his end with stoic acceptance. His death lays the foundation for the great heathen army, led by his son Ivar the Boneless, seeking revenge against England. Ragnar's legacy, a tapestry woven with triumphs and tragedies, resonates through the tales of his sons. This mighty Viking warrior, whose life embraced the complexity of Viking culture, diplomacy, war, and the clash of old and new beliefs, bids farewell with a speech that echoes through the ages. His tales of triumph and acceptance in the face of death become a part of the enduring saga of the Norse hero. Ragnar Lothbrok, the shaggy bridged raider, lives on in the collective memory of those who recount the sagas of old. Thank you for accompanying us on this epic journey through the life and legacy of Ragnar Lothbrok.